Hello everyone and welcome to Silverhawk's Let's Play. I'm playing Silverhawk and I'm on the Shimmering Flats. This uh, used to be the place where I loved to go as a paladin. No, as a hunter I went here. And uh, as a friend, uh, as a friend, a friend of mine, he loves, he loved going here just to earn money from skinning these fellows. I'm gonna try you and see how they work. I haven't really been able to make that work in a long while. It's been some time since I've played my party lately. Yeah, well, I keep healing myself. Right. That is actually silly. Silly makes silly. Yeah, that's kick, kick ass. Kick ass cool. I can't skin it though. No. Um, why do? This is how we usually do. Let's see, so we don't get any extra followers with us. So we have to rebuff that. Pushing after me. Yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. <clears throat> I wonder what happens if we fight one of these fellows then. used to uh, slam it under six running out. cool. I need to, at this place, I need to make sure that I pick up these uh, stuffs that are on the ground as well. I wouldn't want to leave them behind now, would we? And those would be the things. Yeah, the great thing about this is uh, these quests are, well, they're kind of easy to do because everything is like level 31 ish, 35 ish, from 30 to uh, 35 in this case. Don't you walk towards me, Mr. Elementor? Element. So you're level... Ah, you're level 34. Well, that's not bad. It's not good. It's just not that bad. I thought he was a, a lot higher level. Like in uh, Duskwood... Or, uh, no, not Duskwood. Wetlands or whatever it's called. Can't stand it. I don't know what 
There's a lot of uh, dudes walking around there, and they're a lot higher level than the ones <coughs> that are questing there, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I did some PvP yesterday, and I did it for like one and a half hour or something, I don't remember exactly. I'll just make you do this then instead. So I heal myself. Basically, move away from the computer. Um, right. And throw that one down. Well, it was 9 seconds left, I might as well save it. I wonder if my plus healing. Stuff as it is, so I would heal myself even more if I had the uh, effect of plus even on my clothes. It should be, shouldn't it? I don't know. Uh, when I dinged at least, I got this divine intervention that you throw on a person. That makes that person immovable, he can't move or anything, but he's outside of uh, threat. Wasn't that what I wanted? No, Hardened also show. That was just a bonus item. Um, yeah, so that's a very nice thing to use in a raid. You throw that on one of the priests, and then everyone just, well, dies around you and the priest can bless everyone. Yay! After I finished with the, the PvP last night, yeah, the PvP moved me like from here to here, so like 5% I got about for that PvP match. And uh, let me tell you this, if uh, I'm thinking of speed leveling, going PvP speed, le speed leveling ain't, ain't the best thing. Especially not since it took one and a half hour to finish. I'm pretty sure that her hunter would love to be with me now, so she could skin everything. Yeah, this area gives you pretty good skinning. I'm a bit tired because I didn't go to sleep until 5 o'clock this morning. Um, my father was sleep. I didn't go to sleep until 3 o'clock this morning and I went up like 8. So, yeah, a bit tired. One of those torso shells. Goody goody. I wonder what this is used for. Why, why would you want to have a thing like that on a rocket part? I don't know. And again, why would you want one of these on a rocket? Because the rockets... 
Using a rocket for the propulsion system, you would not need anything but the rocket itself and a couple of ropes or something or chains. I was thinking about the technology during this age. Well, I was thinking rope, but no, they had chains, of course, they have blacksmiths. And they do have magic, so they could have magic something up, maybe. But you wouldn't be using gear, would you? I don't know. Lost coke, please. The lost coke, silver. Take the lost coke. And for you guys who don't like to watch PvP, <coughs> um, I made this helmet last night. It is a very nice helmet. Yep. This health thing is really if the mob go to sleep. It would probably be a nice one if you're in an instance and you hit the mob with that one. That means that everyone that hits that mob is going to get healed. But I guess that's not a bad thing. Oh. Go over to the other bag, I think. And throw down some consecration. Yeah, that consecration, by the way, is my newest consecration. I just got it. And uh, I also got another defense of devotion hour. That one will uh, be here spell finishing on the What else do I want? Yes, another health regen. There we go. Might as well eat another steak. These bear steaks, I mm. cannot have it. I need to take an energy drink. Me thinks. Um, these bear steaks are made by uh, running around and farming them because I wanted to farm for uh, my cooking. Give me a few seconds. There we go. Now we open the window. Um, right, then I caught from doing that, so that's not a bad thing. They are pretty nice to eat. I think they're like eight or something, aren't they? Okay, make me too loud, why don't you? Let's open the new map. Scorpic Venom 3 out of 6. Nice, nice. Level 30. Let's 
just want to say positive things about this energy drink, but I am not sponsored by them, so I won't. I don't want to get any legal issue because I am not because I'm saying stuff about the product in which I have not been. Legitimize that this is a product I can vouch for or something. Okay. Let's get rid of that and then let's get rid of that. You can use all your spells to do that instead of hitting me, please. Seem to be doing those as well, both at the same time. Another sorted and hello there, stone basilisk. We want to get one of these treatments. My body is in the head. Fantis. Yeah, I get some uh, good uh, mono vegan. On this character, because I'm using my uh, two handed hammer. Beautiful. I'm level 30, so it's about that time that I start. Thinking about going to Stormwind, I was about to say. Uh, SM, it's called Monastery. I don't think I recorded my dead mine one. Yeah. Oh, probably not. I was uh, taking it like a pro. No, I wasn't. It was actually quite hard to tank at that level because I see, it felt a bit like I didn't have any tanking uh, abilities or anything, and at the same time, I. Uh, well, I basically just had my consecration and then all of them just ran after when we killed them. And they just thought, ah, oh, let's load it. And that's a problem. Of course, I can't do anything about that. I could use Seal of Justice on one of them, but not like on 20 of them. And the thing is that since I was pretty high level when I went in there, Everyone thought, okay, he's a high level, so now we can just go nuts on DPS and everything. And they died a few times. And that's not very nice. Um, I died too, of course. Thing is that since I was such a high level, they thought that oh, he's such a high level, he can class. But you can't do that ever. Nothing classic, unless I'm. Well, if I would be taking dead mines now, then I understand that they would. Have. But I was like 25 or something. No, I was 20. Wasn't I 20 when I did it? I think I was level 20 when I did it. Anywho, uh, the thing about Paladin is that I'm quite okay with just farming like this. And if shit hits the fan and something else attacks me, then I just chill. And either I take care of that or I walk away. There's not many other classes in the game that could just oh Hello there, are you doing evil to me? Well I'll just walk away then. And to do this alone 
let's walk away stuff. I have my divine protection, of course, which is my ultimate. And then I've got the um, lay on hands as well. Oh, yeah, I've got to do lay on hands this time. Let's see. Heals a friendly target for an amount equal to Paladin's maximum health and restores. Ah, it restores mana as well. That's nice. 250 of it. That's nice. That's nice. I'm pretty sure that the other one did not do that. I'm pretty sore. I can't see the other one. God damn you. Yeah, so what I'm saying is that a paladin is quite a surviving person. At the same time, he hits not that overly good. I'm not like hitting everything and they just die, but I'm hitting them fairly well, especially considering the amount of life I lose when I'm doing it. One thing I can say though is. You don't need to rush if you're playing a paladin. <laughs> of course, chilling like this and then just going over this place, take care of all requests, just do this, do this in. no worries, because if you hurry, you won't be going any faster because <laughs> this is the max speed I can do this in. Let's see. Let's slap on those and see if there's anything different. Last time I tried it, it wasn't anything different at all. But then again, I was lower level than I am now. Well, the difference was that my mana, I got shit tons of more mana than I used. 200, because that's got shit tons of more spirit on it than this setup. Yeah, it's as expected. I take a little bit less damage, it looks like, and it takes a little bit longer time to do it. I knew that when I picked the tank though, that that was going to be the problem. Well, problem. That was going to be the quirk. That I'd survive a lot better, but I'll take... It takes a long, long time to kill the people. And you see the birds stay there. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. Can you just not follow me, silly bird? Right, sorry. Can I go? Come on, give it to me, baby. Yeah, that was one sort of enemy more. Um, we got five minutes left on that, so let's not eat it, shall we? Um, right, I got those. The throwaway food. And Mithril lore. I've started to mine Mithril lore. So that's a new thing. Oh, I could so eat you next time. And about next time, right away. Yeah, well, that's basically what's new with this character. Um, I guess I'll catch you guys a bit later. And yeah, see you then. Bye bye.